Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how easy you can iterate between Gaia and Unreal Engine to create different open world environments. And here for example we have this mountain, if I go to the mountain, select another seed phase, go to project build settings and export, click on the start building settings. Now we've generated a new height map, a new terrain, and if you want to be imported in Unreal Engine, right click on your landscape, refresh, and you have your new terrain imported in just a few seconds. So let's start with the video and show you how easily you can set up this workflow and iterate with just few clicks between Gaia and Unreal Engine to have this open world landscape that you want. So let's start. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel, and if you are a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button? Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. All right, so let's start with first setting up the Gaia 2.0. So go to project, open the build settings and here under the build, you need to define the build destination folder. So I'm going to hit the three dots and I'm just building on my desktop in the folder Gaia. Just select the folder. And if you want after the build to open the folder, just click this open folder after build. And for the fire override mode, keep the override on. All right, now let's create a simple mountain. So I'm just going to go to the terrain. I'm just going to select primitives and select mountain, right? And Gaia 2.0 will generate this mountain. And next I'm going to right click and search for erosion 2. So this one, erosion 2, I'm going to connect the output here to the input. And the next thing that Gaia offers us is straight Unreal export. So search for Unreal drag from the out to the in in the unreal and here in the unreal use the r16 and we are building a height map all right so we are ready to export it go to project click build and export click start build and it will start building your terrain you need to download gaia to unreal plugin and just install the plugin that you want if you're working with unreal engine 5.4 just install this one if you're using 5.3 install this one once you've installed it, you go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Gaia. You need to enable it and restart Unreal Engine. After you've done all of that, you're going to see here an icon. Right now it is white icon. I don't know for me, but for them it should be a Gaia icon. Click on this icon and here what you need to do is they will support world partition, but it's not working yet, at least for me. So this is something that I need to explore how it will work. I just contacted them through email to see if this is working because in their official video it is working. For me, it is not working right now. Next step is to choose the material. I'm going to use my auto material. And here you need to assign a layer info folder. This folder is when this world partition start working, it will assign world partition layers inside this folder. And finally, you need to click import the height map that we've generated. I'm going to select this one, the H erosion 2. I'm going to click open and I'm going to create the landscape. If you enjoy the content and wish to support the channel, or if you're interested in accessing the files for this project and everything that I've created so far, including the landscape auto material, the water shader, the fog material, the blueprint mega kit, the interactive water system, the interactive foliage system, the PCG path, the PCG ditch, the PCG forest pro and every other tool and shader I've developed and will continue to create in the future. Visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash cgdealers. By selecting a tier, you can acquire the assets you want while supporting the channel and the ongoing development of new tools and enhancement of the current tools. For those who simply want to support the channel, I've introduced a YouTube membership option. By joining, you will get access to our private Discord lobby where I'm most active, providing priority support. Please note, this membership doesn't include access to download tools, shaders, system, blueprints or any other content like in Patreon. Enroll in this membership if you don't want to pay for Patreon but want to donate a Coca-Cola or a coffee. This support helps me stay fueled and continue creating videos for free for you guys. Thank you so much, now let's deep dive into the video. And with just a few clicks, I already have a landscape inside Unreal Engine and I have my auto material assigned to it straight forward. But that's not the cool thing. Right now, 
the cool thing is how Gaia and Unreal Engine are working together. So I'm going back to Gaia and here under the mountain, I'm going to select the seeds to be a little bit different. I'm going to select it like that. I'm going to go to project, build and export, start building. And the changes that you made in Gaia with one single click, it will be applied in Unreal Engine. So let's go back, select the landscape, right click, you go to the Gaia landscape action and hit refresh landscape in place. Boom, you're going to have your landscape straightforward from Gaia to Unreal. So right now with Gaia 2.0, the iterations between creating your landscape and importing it into Unreal Engine are super easy. Go back to Gaia, go crazy with the changes, add more nodes, add more erosions, add different simulations, then export it with the build and export. Go back to Unreal, right click on your landscape, refresh, and you're going to have your brand new landscape with just two clicks. So with the new Gaia 2.0, we are getting a very powerful tool to create super fast open world landscapes and to iterate very fast between Gaia and Unreal Engine so you can have this control over your landscape. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next one. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now.